This is 1988 D. Washington quarter in MS 67 condition. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2023, a Washington quarter from 1988 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 85 cents. However, on the open market 1988 D quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $495. Examples graded MS67 and higher are scarce to rare. This MS67 gem fetched a sum of $1,645 at auction. Number 7. Here is 1988 P. Roosevelt dime in MS68 condition with full bands. Full bands refers to the level of detail and definition present on the horizontal lines or bands on the torch design found on the reverse, tail side, of the dime. These bands are part of the torch that is depicted on the dime, and the term full bands is often used by coin collectors and numismatists to describe dimes where these bands are well-defined and fully separated. MS-68 specimens with this designation are rare and PCGS reported just two specimens in this elusive grade with none finer. It was sold for $1,560. Number 6. 1989 Lincoln cent struck on a 1988 P. Roosevelt dime. Elusive double denomination coin. Graded in mint state 65 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a 1,988 P. dime apparently became wedged in a crevice of a tote bin and remained there until the date changeover of the cent dies. Roosevelt gazes due north relative to the portrait of Lincoln. The profiles of both presidents are present. The dime date is complete and the dime mint mark is bold. The date date is nearly complete with the right portion of the nine absent. It was sold for $2,115. Number 5. This is 1989 P. Washington quarter struck on a cent planchet. Graded in mint state 63 read by PCGS. The holder lists a weight of 2.5 grams that is consistent with a copper-coated zinc planchet. Peach-tinged copper gold surfaces are dappled with lavender and amethyst hues. The dies were positioned perfectly to capture the date and mint mark, though all of the word liberty is off the flan. It ended up selling for $2,280. Number 4. This is 1987 P. Kennedy half dollar in MS-68 condition. A blush of light golden color graces essentially perfect surfaces on each side, while the reverse adds a couple of faint lavender gold accents near the right border. It was sold for $4,112.50. Number 3. Here is 1988 Lincoln cent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 read by PCGS. The die doubling is most obvious on Lincoln's ear, with the lobe duplicated south of the primary ear. This is the only attributed example of the variety at PCGS in a red holder. It was sold for $3,120. Number 2. 1989 Silver Eagle. Graded as MS-70 with star designation by NGC. This amazing silver eagle is housed in a John M. Mercani hand-signed NGC holder. The fields are fully mirrored, and in addition to the NGC star designation, this example is proof-like although not designated as such. Both sides are brilliant and untoned with bold design definition. It ended up selling for $7,500. Number 1 and this is 1974 S proof quarter dollar. Graded as PR70 DO cameo by PCGS. According to the grading service, the 1974 S proof Washington quarter is fairly common. It can be obtained inexpensively just about in any condition or up to about PR69 deep cameo. Only in PR70 deep cameo is it very difficult to obtain and any example in perfect PR70 deep cameo condition will command a significant premium. This specimen is literally the perfect coin. Liquid mirror fields contrast boldly with the strongly impressed devices to produce a memorable deep cameo effect. The present coin is simply unimprovable. It was sold for $10,925. So this wraps up today's episode. Like, share, comment and subscribe. God's will, see you in the next video. Take care.